Hi! Recently on the GPUG Collaborate site, I came across a post where someone asked about how they could see the actual date a transaction was posted in the general ledger on the trial balance or even the journal entry report. And there was a response from another partner who gave, who was actually very great, that uh, they said you could go into SmartList, like I'm doing now, in the financial series, account transactions, and you could add the column called originating posting date, originating posted date, sorry. We'll add that in, and then you could see the actual date something was posted. So you could see transactions that I posted, for example, on April 29th and the 26th and so forth. I'm going to show you a different way to do it though. So let's go through, like we're going to print, our general ledger trial balance. So I'm in GP 2013. Uh, in the financial series, under reports, financial, and I'm going to go to trial balance and I'm going to print my detailed trial balance to the screen. So what I'm going to do, let's just change this to current and we'll make sure it's set to the screen and actually let's go through and narrow it down so we're just looking at that inventory account and let's save it and then let's print it to the screen. And the reason why I'm printing it to the screen is because I want the ability to be able to go right to Report Writer and go right to this report. So I'll simply click on Modify right here and that saves me from hunting the report in the Report Writer. Now this is the Dynamics GP native Report Writer and again this Report Writer is used to alter reports that are in the system and this general ledger trial balance being one of them. You can see things are really tiny here so we're going to have to be very careful. So what I'm going to do right now is just expand the body a little bit uh, so that we have this additional field here and I'm going to switch my file or table that I'm looking at to the year-to-date transaction table and again as the, um, the partner uh, Rod had recommended, we're going to choose the originating posting date, our posted date. Now the, he had suggested pulling it from sales order process or from SmartList, but this will allow us to put it right on the report. Now you notice the font's a little bit different, so we want to get the font right. So I'm going to come up in the drawing options, and I can see that I'm using Helvetica uh, 10. So I'm going to come back in and whoops come back up to Tools, Drawing, and I'm going to make sure I have Helvecta, Helvecta, and I think it was 7, I said 10, but I believe it was 7, and I have them now listed right here. So now we can see we've got this date here, and I'm just going to use my arrows to bring it down a little bit, and I'm just going to leave it right here for right now, and let's type in here, posted on a little text field. So that's what I did. I clicked on this text, status text, and wrote that in. And again, we want to change the drawing options, so I'll go up to Tools, and then Drawing Options again, and let's change this to 7, and let's change the background pattern to Clear, and then that way it'll look the same. I'm now with my handlebars around that posted by, and with, I'll, um, I'll hold the Shift key down and select the posted date I just selected and I'll go to the arrange button and I'll arrange them to line up on the bottom. So now I'm going to close this out and save the work I just did and if we look at here we can see that it is not set up as a text report this is actually a graphical report that's why I was able to change the font so I will click OK let's go back into Great Plains now if you modify a report of any kind what you're going to need to do at that point is make sure you grant security. So I'll go into administration on my administration tab and what I'm going to do then is choose the alternate modified forms and reports. So I'll do a lookup and right now I just have everyone set up in um, the default one. I'll leave the product type for all products. I could go though and select Microsoft Dynamics GP if I want. The type will be reports because it was a report I modified. And I'm going to then just choose financial reports. And I will open that up. And that was the multi currency trial balance detail I modified. And I want to change the security for those users from the one out of the box to the modifications I made. 
I'll save that, close that out, and now I should be able to go back and reprint my trial balance and see that information. So under my financials, whoops, let's pull reports back up, go to trial balance. So let's also go in and add the general ledger transaction date we want so that we won't have to dig so much. And now let's print this to the screen. And you can see we have our posted on and the date it was actually posted right there on the spot. And you could do the same with your journal entry reports of, as well, if you like. You can even go so far, if you want to add a little bit more to that, and put down the user who posted. So we could come back in, if that's in the year-to-day transaction file, and we'll scroll down and we'll put the user who posted it out there. Again, let's go to Tools, Drawing Options, Helvetica, 10, clear background, let's align it so they're all aligned on the bottom and actually let's make these just a little bit wider so we can see them better so I'll copy one of the ones up above and I'll say make it to the fattest thickness and now we should be able to see it better since security is already granted I do not need to go back in and grant security to that report So I'll go back into the financial series, display my reports, go to trial balance, whoops, insert and print. And now we can see not only was it posted on what day, but who posted it. I hope this helps. Thanks.